Hello all, in this video we will see how to display variable icons according to the data values received. According to the potentiometer values, you can see the values varying in the data variable window and uh, to the bottom different icons changing according to the values received. Now let us see how to do it. In this video we have a 7 inch display of resolution 1024 by 600. It is capacitive touch with uh, casing and industrial grade uh, display. On the communication port side we have uh, CAN bus CH and CL is CAN bus communication. B and A is RS485 and to the bottom of it or 2T2 and G which is RS232 it is not TTL so we need a conversion RS232 to TTL so we'll be using RS232 in this video we need a, a DC socket like this to connect the power source we'll be using 12 volt 2 ampere as power source and the male D pin connector with wire is supplied along with this uh, display this male D pin connector uh, to the left side uh, the pin facing towards you the first pin is uh, left side and the second is rx third is tx and fifth pin is ground the connection is straight that is uh, one to one R rx to r2 tx to t2 it is not reverse and we'll be using this uh, rs232 to ttl device to connect with the male connector as this uh, conversion rs232 to ttl has got a female d pin it can be easily plugged with this male pin the green connectors are removable type removable pbt type so you can easily remove the connector uh, connect the wires and then easily plug it back first we will connect the power source the last pin at the bottom to the bottom is v and the next to it is ground we will be connecting this uh, dc socket to this uh, uh, pins and then let us connect the 9 pin d connector male connector that is a R2 goes to pin 2 of male connector that is Rx T2 goes to pin 3 of D connector which is Tx and fifth pin is ground and the casing has got a L angle so that you can easily hang it on a uh, rod so it is easily fixable and finally you can connect this uh, RS232 to TTL converter this converter is built on max 3232 ic and it can work on 3.3 as well as 5 volt now let us open the back casing and see inside so near the communication ports you can see a lot of diodes these are all protection diodes and then the uh, speaker with the uh, casing and rtc battery and d5l ic and to the left hand side bottom is the micro sd card slot here you can uh, place uh, micro SD card maximum 16 GB is supported either you can open the case and uh, place the SD card or back cover is provided for getting the analog values we use uh, potentiometer PCB 4 potentiometer PCB out of this we will be using only one first let us connect, uh, connect the power source that is a 5 volt of uh, Arduino we will be using the power source from Arduino connected to potentiometer top pin same 5 volt is connected to the RS232 to TTL and then the ground connection ground wire goes to the bottom pin of the potentiometer and the same ground is looped to uh, TTL board now the center pin of the potentiometer goes to A0 of Arduino that is the analog read pin A0 goes to center pin of potentiometer if you use a separate potentiometer you can connect like this top pin to 5 volt bottom pin to ground and center pin to A0 now let us connect the RX TX pins as we are going to use software serial uh, we are using second pin as RX and the third pin data pin as TX the connection is straight RX goes to RX of uh, 232 to TTL and TX goes to TX now this RS232 to TTL uh, board can be easily plugged on to the male D pin of the uh, D win let us plug the USB socket to Arduino. Let us see the DGS software settings creation. Open the DGS software, set the resolution to 1024 by 600, and then set the path of the project. Now click on plus symbol and uh, select the images created. Already we have two images. Uh, note the naming of the images. First 
should be zero zero second is zero one so the first image should start from zero zero two images we have and uh, you have to generate the font first this is very important otherwise you, you will not see any data variable display create the font from the DGS software and uh, from the uh, folder from where you started the DGS software you will see the zero dot uh, hzk file copy this uh, font file and paste it into the dwin underscore set folder of your project now click on uh, DGS and uh, click on the ICL tool all uh, pictures you have to convert to dot ICL S select pictures select these two images and click on generate ICL now store these images as 32 dot ICL no other naming is allowed you store it as 32 dot ICL inside dwin underscore set now select the first picture uh, and then select icon display and then picture animation display draw a box anywhere on the first image that is a zero image and to the right side setting select the start picture as zero that is the first image and then the end picture as one that is the next image and rtc as 200 so maximum allowed rtc is 255 into 8 millisecond that is two seconds the idea is first the uh, uh, zero image is displayed after a delay of two seconds the first image image 2 is displayed automatically that is the idea now go to the second image and then select the data variable display location where you want to see the data the right hand side settings you have to set the VP address let us select it as 2000 and then you can select the color font ID is 0 and then size of the font to be displayed and then alignment is center and variable type is integer and three digits and to the bottom of the data variable you have to show the icons so select icon display and then variable icon display and draw a box on the location where you want to see the icons to the right hand side you can note down the width and height or height of the icons to be displayed according to this width and height you have to create icons otherwise the icons will be of different size so this is very important note down the w and h so as you, you can see we are not created any icon file so it is not showing any dot icl let us we have three icons low high and normal uh, according to the size we have seen width and height now you have to create the icl file for this images also so go to the icl tool select pictures and then select these three icons low normal and high these three icons and then uh, click on ok generate icl and store it as 42 dot icl inside the dvn underscore set folder so the first set of initial images 32 dot icl after this now you create 42 dot icl inside dvn underscore set now to the right hand side of the uh, uh, that is you select this uh, variable icon and to the right hand side settings you set the VP address as 2200 this is user uh, defined so you can give any address uh, up to uh, FFF so select this 2200 and select minimum as 0 and icon ID as 0 and select the right hand side plus button and select the icon first icon that is normal icon and uh, maximum for ID you can select the second icon so maximum also two total three images zero one and two so click on the variable icon uh, location now you can see the first image that is a zero image low next you can click on the preview button to see a preview first zero image is displayed after two second display the uh, second image that is the image one is displayed where you can see the data window and below is the icon window now this uh, d dvin underscore sit folder you have to transfer it to the actual dvin display for this we will be using the sd card plug in the sd card uh, in a converter and open that location copy dvin underscore sit folder to this sd card folder and remove the power and open the uh, back casing there is a, a door is provided to access the SD card location plug in the SD card 
it's slightly difficult you plug in carefully then SD card into the slot now provide the power you can see the blue screen of uh, this is the downloading screen all the files what are the files downloaded it's mentioned here after a while this will be over now remove the power and then remove the SD card so this is very important after removing the power only you have to remove the SD card and provide the power back now you can see the actual project has been transferred to the DWIN display next let us see the Arduino code we will be using software serial so first define the software serial pins RX pin as 2 and TX pin as 3 and then create a DWIN serial object software serial object with this uh, pins RX pin T and uh, TX pin 3 and then we declare an integer A0 value to store the analog value read at uh, A0 pin and then we define the uh, VP address for this we use the uh, that is the data variable address we call it a spot address and define it as 0x20 only the high byte the VP address is 2000 only the high byte we are mentioning here so it is easy for coding mention it as 0x20 and then the variable icon address is 2200 name it as uh, message address message underscore address and define it as 0x22 and then we create a an array of char variables that is uh, we call it as hex data of eight elements as you know arrays are uh, zero indexed the index is zero to seven so phi a a phi is the header zero phi is the number of bytes following and a two is write code and then the vp address two bytes for vp address two bytes for data so you note that vp address starts at the fourth element zero one two three that is the fourth element and then inside the void setup serial dot begin at 9600 baud and a dwin serial dot begin at 115200 baud so dwin communicates at 115200 so do not give any other baud rate unless you change it in the configuration file so inside void loop we assign the analog red value at a0 to integer pot value and then we'll uh, let us use the map function to map the value to a0 value so the values we will be receiving is from 0 to 1, 0 to 3, analog value. Map it to 0 to 200. And then the, you print the value of the A0. That is the value read at the analog pin. You print the value on the serial monitor. And then use this function to display it on the DWIN. Data underscore A0 underscore to display. Now this is uh, user defined. Now we have to write the function for this display. As you can see from the hex data array, uh, the hex data array has got 8 elements that is index 0 to 7. The index value 4 has got the VP address high byte and index value 6 that is the 6th element and uh, is the high byte of data and 7th element is the low byte of data. We have to define this under this uh, display function. So let us use the hex data that is the 4th element we assign the port address that is the VP address of the data variable and the X data sixth element that is the sixth uh, index is the high byte of uh, the A0 value and the seventh element is the low byte of the A0 value. So this is the easiest way of uh, splitting the data high byte and low byte functions and then we use the dwin serial underscore write to send the array of uh, eight elements we use dot write function and uh, send the hex data array total eight elements and then the condition to display the uh, icons variable icons if the a0 value is less than 50 then we use the same same hex data array but the address we change to 22 that is the vp address of the variable icon so at location 4 that is the element 4 we change the address to 22 that is the message address we have defined it as message address and uh, only the last low byte that is seventh element will be changing to change the image 
So if value is uh, less than 50, we'll display the zero image. If the value is between 50 and uh, uh, 150, we'll display the first image. If the value is above 150, we'll display the second image. So accordingly, the last byte of X data is changed. And then we use the dvin underscore write to uh, write the function to the dvin display. Now let us correct the syntax error and then uh, upload the code. The code has been uploaded to Arduino and open the serial monitor. Now you can see the uh, values uh, read from the analog pin that is A0 where the potentiometer is connected. <coughs> so the values vary according to the potentiometer. Let us change the uh, potentiometer physically. There is only one potentiometer is connected. The value is changing in the data window with data variable window. So we have mapped it from 0 to 200. And accordingly, you can see at the bottom of the data variable, the icons are changing from low, normal to high. As we are defined in the code. That is when it is less than 0, low icon is displayed. Between 50 and uh, 150, normal is displayed. And above 150, high icon is displayed. So this is the way to display variable icons according to the data variables received. Thank you for watching.